Hey guys, welcome to the top five scripting assets for May 2017. One thing I want to mention before I start with this video is that some of these actual scripting assets are hard to sort of give an example. So I'm showing it in the Unity Asset Store just to give you an idea of what is available. So number one is the main menu with a parallax effect. And this is a, a quite a nice little asset where you can create a fairly simple menu with a parallax background which just scrolls across depending on however you want to you know be able to create it and it features a scene selector with animated move around you can expand it with an options menu serialized you can take a look at the demo scene number two is curriculum and this as it suggests um, a way for developers that might be making an educational game to obtain specific curriculum materials so whether it be questions or things from a certain topic which categorizes a maths question and things like that and will become in a particular format which you can access within Unity. Number three is the Plug SDK which is a dedicated in-app community so it's a library of which lets the people that play your game have community features which allow you to as you can see in the background here that you can um, comment post little images and have things related to the things that you want to be able to see within your game depending on what you're trying to achieve so you can almost drive more community content and you can drive more users to use your app if you give them stuff that they might want to use Number four is Autofocus and it's a VR and AR related sort of plugin which helps to avoid the common um, simulation of motion sickness. When people use VR headsets and things like that they can get very um, fatigued in the eyes and it becomes strained over a long period of time. So this tries to negate that effect by doing some uh, sort of special calculations and you know allowing you to adjust settings accordingly to avoid these particular things. So if that's something that you're looking to try and minimize, um, give this asset a, a go. And number five is the Trello Bug Tracker. Uh, the free version, this is something that you can add to your game which will allow users to report bugs or things that they might have found within their game. You can see you can add a, a little button and it will add a UI pop-up in the game and you'll they'll be able to submit a uh, request to tell that you what might have happened. So it's a nice little way for um, you to get a basic set of features which allows you to create and upload the information that they've done and you can choose to upgrade to a pro version if you need more of the tools that they're offering. Number six is the Fantasy Heroes Editor and I think this is a really nice one because it's a almost a fully fledged um, editor for creating your very own sort of 2D sprite characters and you can customize the body parts and the colors you can play some animations and it comes with a few different examples of you to be able to based on this UI you can see here change the style and look of the character accordingly which can go straight into your game and allow you to modify as you need to remember you can look at all the assets that I have featured on the page that I will post in the description and it will feature all the assets that I have found for May